If you've been watching for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of tools and I have tools for all sorts of different things. Every job is a little bit different. And when it comes to cutting, I have jigsaws, reciprocating saws, table saws, dremels, and several other options. But there's one thing that I don't have. I've been in the market for a precision ultrasonic cutter for a while now, and I've tried a few other cutting options in the past and have been less than impressed. So when Hozo Design reached out and asked if I wanted to try out the new Neoblade, obviously I wanted to see what it was all about. This is the Hozo Design Neoblade, a 40-watt precision ultrasonic cutter with a USB-C drop-in charging dock and interchangeable batteries. If you've been here for a while, you would know that I'm a huge fan of design language, and the Hoso Design Neoblade is about as sleek as it gets. Honestly, aesthetics don't really mean much when it comes to tools, but it's hard not to appreciate the design language when it fits in so well with the modern lifestyle aesthetic. And there's no doubt, when it comes to ultrasonic cutters, the Neoblade is gorgeous, but does it work? In the box, you're going to get the Neoblade itself with a battery and a few extra blades. It also comes with a USB-C charging cable as the Neoblade can be charged directly from the back. One of my favorite things about the optional charging dock is the fact that it has pass-through charging. We don't need to remove the battery and then insert it into the dock. We just need to drop the Neoblade straight into the dock and it begins charging. If you've ever worked in a shop or a makerspace, you might be familiar with the dangers of blade storage and disposal. One really cool feature and design choice for the Neoblade is the blade storage and disposal solution. This solution can be slotted into either side of the charging dock. You can even slot several of these together if you're using different types of blades. If you're on the go, the Neoblade does come with a cover so you can safely drop this into a backpack or a work bag. We have an old resin printer that we're going to use for a future video. Now I'm gonna do something that I would never do. We're gonna print something that has a fairly good amount of supports with it, and then immediately cure it without removing supports. Hopefully this is going to leave us with a few supports that are fairly difficult to remove, giving us the perfect opportunity to test this ultrasonic cutter. While the majority of these supports still break off fairly easy, we do still end up with a few that require a little bit of assistance. And this is where we first see the capabilities of the Neoblade, as it has no problem cutting through these supports that we can't easily remove by hand. Again, I would never cure a resin print without first removing supports, but from time to time, there are smaller supports and areas that are easily missed. If you've ever worked with resin before, you know that there's a tendency to be a little bit brittle on these smaller, more highly detailed sections of a print. When using a razor blade or other type of cutter, you need to apply a certain amount of pressure, and this could be a little bit risky with resin prints, and this is where the Neoblade comes in as a win, as you don't need to apply pressure to remove supports due to it being an ultrasonic cutter. Another place we can illustrate this is with FDM card kits. If you've printed a card kit before, you would know that quite often there are smaller pieces that are easier to break when you're trying to remove them from the kit. In this footage, we see that with the Neoblade, we have no issues freeing parts from our card kit. While I think this is great for 3D printing, an even better use would be in prop production and cosplay. Because the Neoblade is an ultrasonic cutter that requires little to no pressure, this makes it ideal for things such as stenciling. This gives you a level of control that you don't really have with something like a razor blade or an X-Acto knife when cutting cardboard or EVA foam. Even with cardboard, we have no problem freehanding the stencil design as the precision and ultrasonic capabilities of the Neoblade make this incredibly easy. Something that's not always easy to achieve when using a razor blade or an X-Acto knife as they tend to drag and rip when trying to cut through cardboard. All of this which makes me believe this may be the easiest way to cut EVA foam. Unfortunately, we don't have any EVA foam here today. Instead, let's try something a little more difficult like this nylon tubing. Nylon tubing is incredibly difficult to cut. Normally, you would need an incredibly sharp knife and a whole lot of patience. The reason is you need a considerable amount of pressure to begin cutting nylon, but once you apply that pressure, it's easy for the blade to have a runaway effect where you lose control of it. But we can see with the Neo blade, we don't really have that problem when it comes to our nylon tubing. The ultrasonic capabilities give us a clean and controlled cutting capability that we don't normally see with any other options. Obviously, we can't use the Neoblade to cut something in half like half-inch plywood. When it comes to our thinner project boards, we can see that the Neoblade doesn't really 
experience any problem. After a few passes, we have no problems cutting through something like eighth inch wood. This makes the Neoblade the perfect option for people who are into model or kit building that requires the use of the lighter grade woods, such as balsa wood. The one thing about the Neoblade is the blades aren't going to last forever and you will occasionally need to change them over time. This process is fairly easy and straightforward and the Neoblade uses a set screw to lock the blade into place. One of the thoughtful design decisions for the Neoblade is on the cap here, if you pull off the top, you'll see that we have a star bit that we can use to remove our set screw. An interesting thing to note is when you pull the top off, if you look on the back of the cap, you'll see that they've included an extra set screw in case you drop or lose the original. It's features like this that give us an idea of exactly how much thought Hoso Design put into the Neoblade. If this is something that you're interested in, then keep in mind that Hoso Design is currently running a Kickstarter campaign for the Neoblade. Obviously, not everything is perfect for every single individual, but if this is something that you're interested in, I'll make sure to have the links in the description below. For myself, the Neoblade is something that fits almost perfectly into my workspace and lifestyle. With the level of detail and design language we're seeing from Hoso Design, I'm finding myself really interested to see what they come out with in the future. As I've said before, I've always been one of those people who is into tools and different gadgets. So when something like the Neoblade comes along, I'm always excited to try it out. And in this case, I can say I'm pleasantly surprised and I think that the Neoblade is going to be sticking around for quite a while. Obviously, this isn't going to be for everybody, but if you're interested in this, keep in mind that Hoso Design is currently running a Kickstarter for the Neoblade. So if you find yourself wanting to know a little bit more about the Neoblade, I'll make sure to have all those links in the description down below. As for myself, the Neoblade fits almost perfectly into my workspace and lifestyle, so it's something that I see sticking around for quite a while. Since we're here, there's a few more things that I want to try out with the Neoblade. I've got an old leather bag here, and I want to see exactly how easy it would be to use the ultrasonic capabilities to do some stenciling on it. Unsurprisingly, the Neoblade does just fine when attempting to stencil on this old leather bag. I don't know how much you can say about an ultrasonic color, other than the fact that what we're seeing here is pretty cool. I'm not really sure when all of this is going to be available on the website, so I'm going to have to reach out to Hoso Design and see where I can buy some more packs of blades.